Not right now. I'm not hungry. Just let me be. Gods and fiends, I told you I'm not. By the gods, it's you. My treasure, my precious treasure. You're here. But how? Is this some sort of cruel trick? Or am I seeing things? <laughs> that same glorious wet. Oh, my dear. It is you. Ah, ah, wait. Hold on. No, oh, my treasure. I hadn't dared to think I would ever be in your arms again. But what are you doing here? I set you free. I told you. You needed to hurry back if you hoped to get there in time to save the king. Why... Why are you... And I heard. What... What do you mean? You were too late? Oh. Oh, my dear. Then... Your father, he's... Gone. I'm... I'm very sorry, my treasure. Once again, I have caused you unthinkable grief. I won't pretend my hatred for him ever lessened. Still, you loved him. And if I hadn't taken you, perhaps he'd still be here. Don't blame myself. There you go. Yet again, putting my feelings first. Are you the new monarch, then? Ah, yes. You've yet to be officially crowned, but all the pieces are in place. Congratulations, my love. The kingdom is truly lucky to have you. Perhaps now magic can stop being treated as the enemy. Perhaps now mages will. Hmm? What did I say? I said now perhaps magic won't be. Oh, before that? Or, uh, I said congratulations, my dear. What? I, no, uh. I, I said my love? What? No, I, I didn't. I don't, that, that is, I, I have no idea what you're, uh... oh, fiends below, I can't believe myself. I assume there's no chance of me persuading you to pretend you've never heard it. No, no, it's not that. Very well. It's true. I... I love you, my dear. I've loved you ever since you first stepped into these desolate halls. The way you showed such kindness to someone who had caused you great pain. And then... You did the same for me. No matter how many reasons I gave you to hate me, you always answered with compassion. And before I knew it, my heart was lost to you. Why didn't I tell you? Because I'm, I'm unworthy of you, my dear. What chance could there ever be of a treasure like you returning my feelings. I beg your pardon? I'm an idiot? What do you... I... Oh. You don't mean to say... You... You love me 
to Gods above, surely I must be dreaming The feel of your palm against my cheek Your hands are still as soft as ever, my dear I never noticed before You have freckles on your nose They suit you Like stars on the blanket of the sky I could stand here gazing at you forever. Hmm? May you? May you do what? Oh, my dear, I, I was convinced this moment would forever remain a dream. But I cannot do this. You are the monarch. I hardly think that kingdom would accept a ruler loving an exiled sorcerer. No matter what, I refuse to put you in any more danger. I'm no longer exiled? What do you mean? You are planning to overturn the sentences of all mages? Magic shall no longer be outlawed, but encouraged as Long as you reign? You want me to be by your side? To show the people the good that magic can do? Well, I doubt that people's attitude will change overnight, but if that's what you wish to do, then I'd be honored to stand by you, my love. <laughs> I agree. I like the sound of that as well, my love. I swear to you, I will protect you with all that I am. Now, then, my love, let's return to your kingdom. And whatever the future holds, we shall face it together.